what's up Pisces this is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of November this is for my Pisces Sun Moon Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers if you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment and if you're new to my channel I put these out every two weeks so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video and I am on TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me over there I'll put the links to those in the description box as well so let's get started spirit what's coming in please for my Pisces Pisces Sun Moon rising and Venus in the area of love first two weeks of November any love messages for my Pisces Pisces Sun Moon rising and Venus first two weeks of November Justice card, Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, something about decisions um, around, yeah, decisions, Two of Wands, um, Three of Cups, yeah, around long-term vision, and then the Three of Pentacles, a lot of threes here, so some of you are trying to make a decision on the way forward, um, maybe between two people, um, or maybe about coming together with someone to co cooperate and work together and collaborate on um, the path forward for the future. We do have the strength card and we've got the sun card. Okay, so something about getting the strength maybe to make the decision, Pisces, because I've got the strength card. This is about strength, this is about courage. Um, the sun card is about happiness. So I think this could also be the courage to go towards what really makes you happy. And with the two of wands, it's almost like maybe you do need to choose between two paths. Some of you may be connected to one situation but there's another one opening and maybe it's all about really being courageous in moving forward with what what really makes you happy um for others of you you know this could be being at a crossroads in terms of where you're headed with inner connection okay there could be the influence of other people because we have the three of cups three of pentacles here so like i said maybe it's about having you know the courage and the strength to really um be honest and true with someone about what you really want. Um, let's just see why we have the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Exactly, there's something about communication here, Eight of Wands, maybe it's like, can we get on the same page? Or for some of you, like I said, with the Two of Wands, you could be at a crossroads feeling like you wanna leave something behind to move quickly onto another opportunity because I do have the Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, oh my God. So the Eight of Cups would be you you know, being at a crossroads, maybe deciding, okay, I'm going to leave what's not fulfilling for me anymore because I have another opportunity and it's going to force, that's going to force me to make some pretty quick decisions, Knight of Swords. Now there's a lot here around conversation, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Um, so you could be dealing with someone where there's a lot of communication back and forth. Um, as I said, maybe you're going to be um, expressing to someone that you're done because you have another opportunity you want to move forward with in love um, or someone is coming at you very fast but it's going to kind of um, push you to have the courage maybe to walk away from someone else or something else that hasn't been quite right okay um, yeah so let's look at that eight of wands let's see six of wands exactly wow okay Pisces and then the moon so Pisces, something's coming at you very fast, someone that wants success with you and um, something that's very connected to your hopes and wishes, like a connection that feels maybe very right. And it's gonna require you to really, as I said, tap into the truth of what you want. Um, and the moon card to the sun, the other thing I'm getting Pisces is that you could be making some discoveries about someone that you've been dealing with and the discovery is going to help you to move forward from what's not for you. I'm thinking about how to articulate this. The discovery from the moon to the sun, you could be getting some information. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, a discovery about a person you've been dealing with, um, which may be difficult, but it's also going to allow you to make some abrupt decisions um, that they're not for you so that you can move forward <coughs> onto a new opportunity. Gosh, that was difficult. <laughs> All right, Pisces, does that make sense? There's going to be success or victory either way because I think you're moving forward in a direction that feels really good. The sun kind is about happiness and new beginnings. And I feel for some time you might have been at a crossroads with someone um, where things have been very murky and unclear, okay? The moon card can be secrecy. The moon card could also be your own personal confusion. It's like where something doesn't feel good or doesn't feel right, but you can't kind of put your 
your finger on it, you're not too sure, or you sort of maybe been a bit back and forth, or maybe you've had some fears in letting go because the moon card is fears, and now you're getting a lot of courage and strength to move um, ahead, maybe in a better direction. You know, the strength card can be ego battles as well. So maybe you feel like you've had someone where it's like they, they haven't been completely open with you um, because they're a bit in their ego. And for some of you, you're getting information maybe through um, people you know or your work network um, about this situation that's going to help you to move forward. Or for some of you, um, you're finding out that there's other people in the mix here and that's going to help you. Um, anyway, I know that I'm like jumping around, but there's a lot of stories. The high priestess, something about your intuition um, calling for you to move forward in a better direction. But the high priestess is also secrecy. I just feel like secrets are coming to light, Pisces. It's like you're going to discover something and it's going to push you to move ahead and leave what's no longer um, aligned. Okay, tell me about this page of pentacles, four of cups, all right, and the world, exactly. Move away from what's not for you. So to move forward towards this opportunity, because I think that there's something new, you may already know who I'm talking about, um, or this is something coming in um, now as we move into November. It's going to require you to close something out with the world where maybe you're realizing now for a cup, this isn't the right cup for me because there may be some disappointments, five of pentacles in connection to a specific person. Um, I want to know more about this um, information or this disappointment. Yeah, seven of cups. You could discover, Pisces, that someone has been keeping other options um, or there's something that's going to clarify things for you because the seven of cups can be a lot of confusion. Um, so this could even be just you sort of having some kind of a personal realization through um, information or conversation with that person. You know, Knight of Swords can be arguments and whatnot it could just be that something's coming to a head and it's going to become very clear for you okay now i understand that that's not the right person for me magician card the justice card and the queen of cups okay the king of swords and the judgment card yeah so pisces i just think this is something to do with you know um truth okay with the king of swords and the justice card is all about making a right decision for me it's about balance it could be that something is coming up where you feel like something is not fair with that justice card you know like a conversation you're having with this person where you're going to say okay that's not right something's out of balance or you're going to be getting some information where you realize hang on a second this person they're not quite right or they haven't been quite honest because the king of swords energy and shadow can be dishonest um, and you're coming up like the queen of cups with the ace of pentacles. So I feel like there could be another opportunity looking more solid for you. Two of pentacles. Um, you also could realize that this person has been juggling other options. Now maybe you're juggling other options. Okay, Pisces with that two of pentacles and the lovers, choices and decisions. So it might be that you're realizing that they haven't completely um, let go of someone else or there's someone else in the mix. <sighs> um, you also could be discovering that this person, like I said, hasn't been true to you because the magician card can be sort of manipulation. Sorry, Pisces. But with the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles and the judgment, it's like now you're going to be using your judgment and discernment to make the right decision for you because I don't think this person is necessarily leaving Pisces. The judgment card is like, let's give this another chance. So something could come to light and um, this person will maybe offer you the opportunity to give it another go but I feel like you're sort of getting pushed to make maybe choose a different direction I feel like there could be someone else that is around you and lover's card means it could be a strong soul connection okay yeah five of cups seven of swords queen of swords there it is okay Pisces so I've got a king and a queen of swords here and I've got the seven of swords and the five of cups so something could come to light this person and you there could be a conversation about it about something that was previously hidden all right and maybe this person's going to tell you that they're very regretful about that with the five of cups and the judgment card and they'd like to sort of reconcile it um, and I think that you're going to have to use your intuition to guide you based on what you're discovering um, a lot of you are going to decide to disconnect to move on to something else okay um, let's get your romance angel 
romance angel please for Pisces stay optimistic attraction what's this romantic feelings oops love yourself first what else do we have past life relationship wedding this situation involves marriage new love heart to heart conversations well some of you are going to discover that this person is actually married um <laughs> well some of you are married and you're going to discover that there's some someone else in the mix sorry to say but um uh, I feel like you do have new love here, okay? So as I said, um, Pisces, I think that you're going to have to make a decision um, that involves you loving yourself first and choosing yourself first because there's going to be heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So there's going to be truths revealed. And then I think you have new love and romantic feelings, okay, coming in. I do see that there's been maybe some conflict between you and the person that you've been dealing with with past life relationship. This can mean that there's... um you know, some, some conflict coming up um, because there can be karmic lessons wrapped up in the situation. True love. And this could be the one. Pay attention to the red flags. So exactly, I'm getting like there's a situation with a lot of red flags and a lot of complications and difficulties. And then there's another situation, perhaps Pisces, that's really like this could be the one and the true love that you've been waiting for. Um, and it's going to involve you needing to love yourself first. Um, you are attracting love because I have attraction here. And then I have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life with free yourself and deception. Okay. So Pisces, that's what I'm getting. It's like you may need to free yourself from a situation which maybe isn't quite what it seemed. Um, and be honest with yourself about what you really want and what's right for you. Pay attention to the red flags is what they're saying. All right, Pisces, I hope that that made sense in the end um, and resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment and I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.